we're, we're going to talk now about a book that's just explosive right now, and uh, it's it be interested to find out how it's changed the life of the author. It's called My Mother's Keeper, B.D. Hyman. Barbara Davis Hyman, the daughter of Betty Davis, has written about her mother. Some say she has written a book which has just been too cruel for words because she has said some unflattering things about her mother. Is it a crime to say unflattering things about your mother when she's a world-famous movie star? There you just saw on the screen a picture of B.D. Hyman as a baby with her father and her mother. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Good morning. Uh, what's the biggest crime you've committed? Well, I don't really think I committed a crime. I mean, if some people feel that way, that's certainly their privilege, but uh, I don't consider it a crime. I've written a story of an adult relationship, basically. There is some childhood background, but an adult relationship between a mother and a daughter. And I don't think it's just my relationship with my mother that is uh, causing all the interest. I think it affects a lot of relationships between a lot of mothers and daughters, and I've been told this a lot on the tour. Why are you being compared with Christina Crawford? Well, I think because people like to pigeonhole things. And I believe that the only similarities between the books are the fact they were both very famous actresses of the same era, and they're both books written by their daughters. But I don't believe the, the comparison goes any further. Mine, as I said, is an adult relationship. Christina's was basically the story of a little girl who spent her whole life desperately pleading for her mommy's love and never got it. Uh, I had, for the most part, a very happy childhood. I had some... some rotten things mixed in with it, but I think every child does, and uh, to a certain extent. And I had a, a, on bulk, I had a really terrific childhood with my mother. I had her love, I had her, her devotion, I never had to grasp for it. And also, the other glaring difference is, there is a lot of humor in my book, and there was no room for humor in Christina's story. I have to admit, there are no wire hangers that no. turn up in no. my mother's keeper, and, and, and no, no child meals abuse. served four and five times. And no, Joan inflicted child abuse upon Christina, and mother never was that kind of a mother. It was no child abuse. I don't mean to get away from your own mother, but you have your own experience with Joan Crawford that I would love oh, for yeah. you to share. Yeah, um, several, and there's one I write about in the book which really I thought was particularly funny, which is why I put it in the book, which was the first time I met her. And the first time I met her, she, she was introduced to me by my mother on the set of Baby Jane. And uh, I was basically pretty much an adult at that point. I, I dressed like an adult. I put on makeup like an adult. I had an adult life, adult friends. And when Joan Crawford met me, she, I held out my hand to say hello and shake hands. And she stepped back abruptly, looked me up and down, and said, well, uh, hello. Obviously, you have not had a protected childhood. Do you see my daughters over there who are there and dressed in little midi blouses and corduroy overalls who were 15 years old, knitting, sitting there like this, knitting, not looking up. And uh, she said, don't speak to my daughters because you would be a terrible influence on them. And nice to have met you, dear. Bless you. <laughs> and off she swept. <laughs> and, uh, but from what I remember reading, it was as though you were too germy for her to touch. Oh, yes. Well, she felt that way about everyone. That was a, that was a very typical attitude. All her furniture was covered in plastic. When you ate at her house, you had to wear white, sterilized gloves. Uh, she was kind of obsessed on the subject, yes. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> if I may ask you, because some of the things are fun to learn about the quirks of a movie star, I think we all get in it. Tell some of your mother's quirks, because she had, she had some attitudes that were absolutes for her. Well, her funniest attitude to me is that all men are scum. All of you. Every single male on the face of the earth is scum, and they will all destroy women if they can. This is a complete attitude that goes through her whole life. But that's not funny. She was, oh, she she was beaten up by her husband. serious, but she believes all men are that way. And she told me when, when I would ask her why she put up with that from my stepfather, she would say, well, it doesn't matter what men, dear, that you're with. They're all that way once the doors are closed. Yeah, but she, okay, if all men are scum, she made an awful lot of visits to the scum department. She certainly she did. Got, she had a lot of men in her life. Mother is a mass of contradictions, if nothing else. And uh, she always said that. Matter of fact, when my oldest boy was born, she was enraged that I would dare to deliver any child that was not a girl. I mean, I did this well, on purpose, supposed to, just to upset her. Was it like Moses? You're supposed to take yes. it out and kill it? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. This was something that, that she th felt that I did just to upset her. And I couldn't get through to her at the time, that I really had no say-so in the matter. But she felt that I'd willed it because I really did want a son. And she looked at me and she said, well, she said, it'll serve you right. When he's six, he will turn on you. <laughs> You He's laugh, now but that has... Well, it's funny because it's so absurd. To her, it's deadly serious. And if you laugh, she gets even angrier. But to me, it's funny because anything that absurd has to be funny. 
let's let's agree that your mother is a tough customer. Oh yeah. It's always been known before you were born in 1947. I don't people think anybody's surprised Davis by that. No. Was a tough customer. Did she become famous because she had that kind of toughness, or was she famous and she was tough? I think I think the. The, the latter. I don't think you become famous because you're tough. Mother was a brilliant actress, still is. Uh, her talent came forth, and she's had a phenomenal career. I mean, there aren't many people who are living legends, and that's what she is called by everybody I know. And uh, so I think her talent was there, but I think her personality began when she was a little girl. It just became possibly exaggerated because of the permissiveness that a star has. There's so many things it would be interesting to talk to you about, including what you know of her relationship with her own mother. And we're going to take a break, okay. and we'll talk about some of those things right after that. So don't go away as we return with B.B. Hyman.